Hey everyone, this is Bhavya, a third year medical student at ESIC Hyderabad and I'm here today at Analytical Minds to give you a detailed description about how life at ESIC Hyderabad is. So talking about my first day at college, it was back in 2018 in August when I first went to this college. And we had a very detailed orientation program on my very first day where we were explained very neatly about you know how the course and curriculum of the college the exam pattern it basically gave us an idea about how the next five and a half years of our life is you know are going to be so it was a very neat start uh, then you talk about the course and curriculum it is same as any other medical college so the that has been actually changed in 2019 so according to that it is like the first year is about three semesters and the second, third, fourth are two semesters each. So ESIC is basically a central government college, but we have our exams under the board of Telangana, that is the KNRUH University. Uh, so that is it about the course and curriculum. Uh, next coming to the faculty, the faculty here are really great. They put in a lot of efforts from their side. So right from the first year to the final year professors, all of them are very welcoming. Uh, they make sure that we understand the concepts and not just by heart the topic. And so they're, they're a very good balance between, you know, friendly and strict. So they are very approachable, but on the same hand, you know, on the same side, they are also very strict about discipline. They're very particular about attendance. So attendance here is, uh, you know, taken with great concern so you have to have a minimum of 75 percent of attendance in all the subjects in all the years so they are very particular about that and a special mention has to be made to dr Srinivas, our dean who is very student friendly very approachable and uh, you know despite of his busy schedule he makes time uh, to you know interact with the students from time to time and you know address our issues and the next thing about faculties is that we usually have uh, guest lectures so these guest lectures are given by people, you know, great doctors, eminent leaders and politicians from all over India, actually all over the world also. They come and have these interactive sessions with us on a regular, uh, you know, basis and they are very inspiring and we get to learn a lot from these sessions. So that is about the faculty. Next coming to the infrastructure of the college, uh, the college is uh, like a 30 acre campus. It is full of greenery, very pleasant and calm all the time. And also, uh, uh, we have like the entire administrative block. It's an AC campus, and it is ve kept very neat and clean. This this could also be because it's a new college. Like it's only been started in 2016. The first year will be passing out in this year, so it's very well maintained. Okay, so next coming to the most important questions: the hostel and the mess. So the hostel uh, is very neat. So there are like three bedroom flats where uh, two people are placed in one bedroom and uh, all the washrooms are fitted with geysers and very well maintained. And importantly, the, the cost of the hostels is very, very low. It's just 1800 for the entire year. Yes, it is. So I am a day scholar, but I stay at the hostels during my exams and the first time. So I personally have not encountered any problem with the hostels as such. And next coming to the mess. Uh, the mess could be a slight issue. I mean, uh, it is not very bad, but it's not great. So it's somewhere manageable. So we uh, we also have a canteen, but that is also not exclusively for students because students, patients and faculty all have food there. So that could be a little issue there. And next coming to seniors, uh, unlike most of the other medical colleges, we have almost zero ragging in our college and uh, the seniors are very helpful and very friendly and supportive. Uh, so next to talk about the transportation. So the ESIC Hyderabad is right in center of Hyderabad. So there is no problem with the transport and we have a metro station right in front of our college. So that makes life easier for especially for day scholars like me. Uh, so next talking about the fest that we have. So to be honest, uh, the, our fest is not like the biggest event like in any other colleges. But I think we have fun and, you know, we get to participate irrespective of how good we are. So that's a great thing. And it uh, is there for almost a week every year. Uh, one drawback in the college is that we don't have a huge ground. Like we have small grounds for throw ball and we have cricket nets and all that. But we don't have like a big ground for cricket. So every time during the fest, we rent out a ground somewhere else and we go there. Uh, next coming to the fees. So there are two kinds of differentiations in the fees, uh, like there are IP students, that is the people who have the ASIC card 
and others are the non-IP students. So for the IP students, the fees is 24,000 per year and for non-IP students, it is 60,000 per year. And we also have a bond with the college which says that we have to work for one year in the college, in the hospital I mean, uh, after our internship or we can get rid of the bond by paying 3 lakhs rupees. Uh, so it's not comp like it's not that you have to uh, compulsorily do it after the internship. If you get your PGC right after the internship, you can finish your PG and come back and then do the bond also. So that is there. And next, uh, talking about uh, research opportunities. So this is quite worth mentioning. So the research opportunities that are available here are very good. Like uh, our faculties, you know, motivate us right from the first year to, you know, submit research projects, to make project uh, papers uh, for various journals, for ICMR, for PSS and all this. And they, you know, help us complete these projects. Uh, so that is a very good thing here. Uh, so finally, I think this is a very great college, especially on the academic wise. And I think you guys will have a great experience. Uh, so I think like I hope I was helpful. So thank you and all the best guys.